and help. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and in today's video, we're gonna talk pests and caladiums. I was just looking at my caladiums and I noticed first that on the back of the leaf here, there is some webbing, which is always a sign of freaking out. <laughs> and then I also noticed that this leaf here has some kind of slug marks on it. I don't know if you can tell. There's like this whole pattern, like a little slug climbed all over it. So I'm freaking out. I've decided to grab my microphone. No, what is this called? Microscope and check it out because I'm afraid it will be maybe thrips or spider mites or something else that's creepy and sluggy. I'm going to be recording this on my MacBook because that's how my, my it's a USB microscope. There we go. So uh, I don't know where to grab it because I don't want to hold on to the pests. The first thing with this is always to make it in focus, which is kind of hard. Stunning, by the way. Ugh. What is that? I'm going to check the back of the leaves because they often hide there. You can see the webbing just there. Ugh. I don't see any bugs just yet. How stunning is this? The pink is crazy on this one. I'm always scared if I don't find something because that means I don't know what it is because I know there is something. Just don't know what. I prefer to just find it and know what it is and deal with it. Huh, that's disappointing didn't find anything but I know there is something I just know it little caladium please tell me what's wrong with you Fanny Munster <laughs> I'm just gonna name it Fanny Munster now damn look how beautiful these are the green and the pink I'm in love maybe it was a regular slug that's hiding somewhere in the soil. Because I do have here these little green blobs. They might be snail eggs. It's too big with this one. And there's something here. It's definitely like a, a skeleton of something. So that's a good cue, I guess. Oh, wait. Ah! What is moving? Something is moving. Ah! What is that? Oh shit! This is in the soil. What are you? Ah, oh, I have goosebumps everywhere. I think some one of you said on Instagram it might be black dot aphids or something like that. Here we are. Maybe that's this. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Oh my god. There's so many of them. Oh, my poor caladium. Oh, shit. They're creepy as balls, too. How do I get rid of these? Ugh. I don't see them everywhere. I just see them at the base of these two. That is gross. That is so gross. They're so big. Where are you? He's freaking out because I found him. It's quite hard to keep this steady. Sorry for the messiness. <sighs> okay, how am I going to treat this? Oh shit. What to do? Send help. I'm trying to figure out what to do. I saw on Instagram some comments from Niels Aroid Jungle that it might be black bean aphids, which 
looks like the things I found in the soil. And the treatment for that, according to Google, you guys sometimes ask me advice and I Google everything or I ask my friends. So I'm not like a horticulture, <laughs> horticulture. <laughs> botanist. I'm not a botanist. Okay. I start to sound like Christine. Just call me a botanicologist because we've got plants. All right. See you later. Watch the attitude. Christine underscore snaps. So the treatment says to clean the leaves, but the leaves only have marks on them and not the bugs themselves. The bugs are actually hiding in the pot here. So I'm wondering if I should completely repot this and remove oiled all the soil and all that, but it might completely upset the beautiful leaves of the caladiums. What do you think? Let me know in the little poll that I'm going to put up. I will have made my own decision, but I would love to hear what you think. Why are you infested? I might be able to get away with pouring hydrogen, <laughs> hydrogen peroxide on... Hey, get away. There's a little fungus gnat as well. Hydrogen peroxide 3% on the soil, which is what I used to do with orchids. Spray all the roots as I repotted the plants. Because if that plant has it, there's a big chance that this plant will also have them. Damn it. Okay. But in order to get hydrogen peroxide, I need to go back to the pharmacist. And I kind of avoid people right now because of, you know, stuff happening. So of course I like to use natural treatments. And I actually found this, which I ordered a while ago, Eco Cure, which is like a, a treatment that specifically says those black bean bitches that are on my plants right now. And also spider mites and thrips. So I'm going to put one of these, these are little beans, into the soil. And this will be taken up by the plant's roots. And then it will, the, the bugs will not no longer like the plant. But it does take a while. So I'm wondering whether I should get hydrogen peroxide to kill off whatever is in there right now. Okay, I haven't been out of our own property in over a week with all the craziness going on. Oh, well, I went to the shop once to get food, but I'm going to head out now to make sure my plants are okay. I'm going to buy some hydrogen peroxide at the pharmacy. Wish me luck. And I'm actually not so much afraid for myself, but for other people because I have a cold and I'm coughing and I don't want to spread anything to other people who might be more susceptible, so. I've got a plan of action and it starts with hydrogen peroxide. I get this from the local pharmacy and I'm just gonna pour some in to see if that kills the buggers off. I probably will also repot. Normally you don't use this pure, I think, but I am gonna. And it should start to fizzle a little bit. I can hear it working. And that is when it's killing off anything bad. Ooh, I can actually see some bugs on the stems that I'm gonna kill for you. I hope you like my murder videos because this is one. Don't run just yet. There they are. Okay, you ready? Oh, I can hear it fizzing everywhere. Murder! They don't seem to do much. They just sit there. Maybe don't all mind. Little bath. Little bath of hydrogen peroxide. What's happening? Where are you going? Can you stay in one place, maybe? There's a lot of them here. Ugh. They don't seem super bothered, to be honest. Still walking around. There's even one here on the edge of the pot. What is it doing? Doing a little dance. Hey, there's something else here. Something white. That's a thrip, for sure that's a thrip.
Those aphids are quite slow, but that white thing I just saw running was super fast. And I was never interested in biology in school. Damn, I was missing out. Okay, first I'm gonna repot these, especially this one. I'll check the other one for pests now. Then I'm gonna put this in the new soil to help with everything. It also helps with thrips. So if I did see thrips, then this will work. And then I will pray. I will pray. I guess that's my solution. This one seems okay. I don't see any of those aphid buggers. Maybe it was just the one bulb that was infected. I actually did notice that this one needs a repot. So I'm going to repot it anyway. See if we can save these. First, remove this pot. Then, carefully, I'm gonna try. Ah! Whoa! Okay, that was pretty root bound. Look at that! Immediately, there's some fungus gnats, so that's awesome. Get away. topsoil as well because that's just disgusting with all the bugs in it. This might actually ruin those two leaves that are already out and it might also ruin some of the leaves that are still coming out but that's okay I don't want to risk it with these pests spreading to all my other plants. So I'm removing as much of the soil as I can Pretty interesting to see. So I guess there's always a positive. Oh, there's a little growth point right there. So it seems like the roots mostly come out from the sides. Or maybe that's because I didn't pot it deep enough. Kind of weird. Normally you break this open because there are several points of growth, but these all come from the same bulb or tuber. So I can't just break it open. All right, that's pretty good. I'm going to rinse it off first just with water because I read that aphids are quite easily treatable with water. Rinsing them off. But don't worry, I'm going to do more than just water. Rinse these out. I'll try with the smaller ones first. I love to see how these grow. So the, the point of growth is also where the roots seem to come out just from the top, not from the bottom of the bulb. Very interesting. Whoops. All right, big one. I don't know if you can see this because the camera is pointing a different direction, but I'm just rinsing it off. So it's not rock and science or anything super interesting. Here is the rinse of bulb. Looks really good. And look how many growth points from one bulb. I really recommend this web shop. So now hydrogen peroxide, 3%. Pouring the hydrogen peroxide into the bottle. And then I'm just gonna spray the roots and the plant. Actually, what might be more effective for this one is to pour. I should have bought two bottles. Also spraying the petioles, the stems, on all different sides, and the leaf sheath as well, because bugs can hide in there. And of course, also the leaves themselves. I don't know how much these are gonna like hydrogen peroxide because they're quite fragile, but right now I don't care. I'm just gonna hope that these other ones will come out pretty and that my plant survives. Just dipping it in because I have a whole little bath of hydrogen peroxide right now. I normally don't do this this aggressively. Someone actually said I might have to cut off some of these leaves. This one is almost falling off anyway and this one looks horrible so I'm gonna do that. I'm actually cutting this off just over because it seems like there might be a new leaf growing. I don't know if that is even possible with caladiums, like if they grow like philodendron. But I do see something here, so I'm gonna leave that for now. This one gets to stay. 
on the condition <laughs> that it promises to do better. Do better. I'm just gonna let it sit in here for a little bit. And Niels Aeroid Jungle on Instagram, he's a much more experienced aeroid grower than I am. And he said that in the end he threw the plant away because they were so hard to get rid of. So I don't have high hopes, but I am gonna try. It's still sizzling, so I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. Now the other one probably only needs a repot because I didn't see any pests in there. Removing the soil just to be sure I'm gonna um, use fresh soil for this one as well. This is my white queen. That's actually pretty green and very pretty. I love her. There we go. Nicely done. Remove the soil. I feel like I could have planted these a little bit more up. Maybe I put them too far down in the soil. Oh, nay! This one is also a separate bulb, feels like. Just connected with roots, so I have several just bulbs in here. Oh, look! There's even more growth points here that were covered with the roots of the other plants. So there's a lot of separate bulbs now in this one, which might explain why the leaves were so small on this. These were very small bulbs, and this big one is only now starting to come out, so they might be a little bit bigger. But look over here. There is two more growth points coming out underneath all the roots. Rinsey rinse. So here is the white queen bulb. Rinsed off. Nice roots. This is probably gonna shock the plant, especially because I'm using really cold water. I don't have a hot water tap here. Just take a moment to appreciate the beauty of that leaf. It's super green and see-through on the pink parts. I brought some bigger pots. Here I've got my soil collection. This is my mixture that I cleaned in the oven. It's got a lot of big chunks in there. And it's what I used the previous time as well and it did pretty well. So I'm just gonna use this again. Ah, look, the pots from the last repot. And some more soil. It's good when you don't know where you store stuff. You find unexpected things. Soil, check, plant doused in hydrogen peroxide, check. Place into pot, check. Add soil, also check. Maybe I'll make a small pot of the small bulbs just to help them. This leaf is also gonna get a steak. There we go, small pot with all the small bulbs. She got me some big bulbs, you guys. This is really awesome. Okay, and then I need one more pot. So I went from two pots to four. It's gonna be fun to explain. Now, I'm gonna get a little steak. Make sure you don't prick it into the actual bulb. That might be bad. I might need longer steaks, yes. Got a bigger steak, like considerably bigger. And this was the advice from Carla from a Londoner's Urban Jungle. Using a soft little rubber thingy to keep it like this. That looks weird, but okay. This thing, this is not sponsored by the way. I was just looking for a natural way to treat pests, especially because I heard that these in summer can go outside, which I would love to have. So then I definitely don't want to use a pesticide that can kill off the bees and the, what do you call them? Pollinators, there we go. Oh, it looks like vitamin C. Look how cute. For one plant, it should be enough in this size, at least, to use one. Stay. Okay, this is already going horribly. But make a little hole in the soil, pop that in, cover it up. Oh, I should have watered first, but okay, I'm gonna water now. I need to water anyway, because this new soil is pretty dry and caladiums like moist soil. It smells like herbs. Oh, it smells quite nice, actually. It smells like a, a well-spiced dinner. <laughs> Should I do it for this small one as well? It's so small. I'm going to leave this one. 
Maybe the whole plant community is now going, no, do every one. But, sorry. Stop, 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 stop. Stop it. Stay. Okay. Make a hole, stick it in, pour water in first, and then put soil over it. Okay, let's move them back into the living room. Living room. So here they are, sitting in the window once again, in new pots with new soil, probably very shocked. This one I didn't do anything with, this is my Autumn Beauty. I checked the soil with just my bare eyes actually, I didn't use the, whatever it's called, hi Mickey, microscope, but I trust that it's okay. Maybe I should keep it away from the others though, just to be sure. What do you think, was that the right choice of treatment. It's going to take a little while before the um, eco, whatever I used, is going to take place. They said a couple of weeks even, at least a, a few days, before the roots are starting to take up that those herbs that smell lovely, but that the bugs don't like. So Mickey, Mickey keeps attacking his sister. Don't do it. I hope you enjoy this weird bug update. I hope to have po more positive videos for you in the future. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and, subs <laughs> and subscribe to my channel if you want more plantiness, yoga, self-love and greenifying your life and your home. Thanks. Bye.